Greetings to you from Garage Number 1. Stories about Legends It is series about most iconic cars in the world. In this series, we will talk about BMW M5 E28. The M5 was publicly unveiled at the Amsterdam Motor Show in January 1985. By this time, production had already been underway for three months. The M5 came with the normal array of BMW Motorsport chassis, engine and gearbox enhancements. It was arguably the most discreet M-badged creation thus far thanks to an almost standard-looking exterior. Production initially took place on a dedicated assembly line at BMW's Priessenstrasse facility in Munich. Each M5 was based on a pressed steel E28 body shell with its 2,625mm wheelbase. Like the M635 CSI, for reasons of weight distribution the M5's battery was mounted to a special compartment in the trunk as opposed to up against the front bulkhead. Like every E28, the M5 used an independent suspension layout with McPherson struts at the front and semi-trailing arms at the rear. Inevitably the M5 incorporated an array of geometry changes. Up front it used the same gas-filled Bilstein shocks as the M635 CSI with standard E28 springs and a 21mm diameter anti-roll bar. At the back, it ran standard E28 Bilstein shocks and springs with a 14mm anti-roll bar. The brake system was lifted direct from the M635 CSI. It comprised 300mm diameter ventilated discs at the front with beefier four-piston calipers. Solid 284mm discs were used at the rear with bigger than standard caliper pistons. Likewise, the M5 used the same wheels that were fitted to the E24 and E23 range. These forged alloy cross-spoke metric-sized wheels were designed for Michelin's TRX tires and measured 390mm x 165mm, about 15.4 to 6.5 inches. A regular 70-liter fuel tank was installed in the trunk floor alongside the spare wheel. Underneath the M5's hood was the same type M88-3 engine that had been created for the M635 CSI. Unlike the rest of the E24 and E28 lineup, which used single overhead camshaft straight six engines with two valves per cylinder, the M88-3 was a twin cam 24-valve power unit derived from the fabled M1. The M88-3 differed from the M1 lump on account of its wet sump lubrication system, new pistons and connecting rods and updated second-generation Bosch Motronic Digital Engine Management which controlled the spark timing and the electronic injectors with far greater precision. This in turn allowed the compression ratio to be hiked from 9 to 1 to 10.5 to 1. Like the M1 engine, the M88-3 motor featured a crossflow cylinder head, a specially tuned intake system with six individual throttle bodies and an artistically crafted bundle of six intertwined exhaust manifolds. It was immediately identifiable, compared to regular 5 Series engines, thanks to an M power script and BMW badge on the valve cover. Like all BMW 3.5-liter engines of this era, it featured a cast-iron block while the head was formed in light aluminium alloy. Displacement was 3,453 cubic centimeters thanks to a bore and stroke of 93.4 mm and 84 mm respectively. Peak output was 282 brake horsepower at 6,500 rpm and 251 pounds-feet of torque at 4,500 rpm. In comparison, the M1 had pumped out 277 brake horsepower at 6,500 rpm and 239 pounds-feet of torque at 5,000 rpm. The regular 528 I produced 182 brake horsepower at 5,800 rpm and 177 pounds-feet of torque at 4,200 rpm. Transmission was through a special close ratio get rag 280-55 speed manual gearbox, a single plate hydraulic clutch and a limited slip differential with 25% locking factor. Whereas previous BMW Motorsport iterations of the 5 Series had been given subtle visual enhancements, the E28 M5 did not look much different to a basic 528i. This was a deliberate ploy to give little indication of its performance but did result in a rather plain-looking machine. 
Aside from M5 badges, the most obvious upgrade was a new front apron that incorporated a matte black plastic air dam designed to reduce high-speed front end lift. The air dam also incorporated cooling intakes for the brakes and radiator. Less easy to spot was a special engine under tray that smoothed airflow beneath the car. Aside from body-colored mirror housings, the M5 was much like any other E28. In a similar fashion to the exterior, relatively few changes were made inside. BMW Motorsport added a small-diameter three-spoke M-Technic steering wheel, sport front seats and a gear knob with an M logo. The gear layout was displayed on a decal adhered to the ashtray lid. Special instrumentation comprised a 280 kmh-170mph speedo together with an M-branded rev counter that lacked the usual economy meter. Small readouts for water temperature and fuel were stacked one above the other in the center of the binnacle with an array of warning lights in between and at the base. Housed on the inside corner of the instrument binnacle was the onboard computer that was able to display a variety of readings. The audio system was located in a separate central binnacle above the ventilation controls. Like most German cars of this era, the M5 came with a fairly basic list of standard equipment, despite its high price. In addition to fabric upholstery, each M5 left the factory with electric mirrors, central locking, an onboard vehicle monitoring system and an entry-level audio system. The trunk was lined with plush black velour instead of standard grey carpet. Customers could enhance their cars with a wide choice of optional extras to include metallic paint, headlight wash slash wipe and deletion of the M5 badges. Interior upgrades included retro front seats, leather upholstery, air conditioning, cruise control, electric windows, electric front comfort seats, heated front seats, an electric sunroof, a rear sunblind, rear headrests, velour floor mats and a choice of more expensive audio systems. As the M5 was finished by hand on a dedicated assembly line, customers could also request specially colored interiors with hand-stitched leather. The E28 M5 weighed in at 1,430 kilograms. It had a top speed of 245 kilometers per hour and 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of 6.3 seconds, which made it easily the fastest car in its admittedly very small class. M5 production started in October 1984 at which point the car was only available in left-hand drive European specification. To address customer requests for a visually more exciting machine, BMW added an M-Technic body kit to the options list in September 1985. This body kit comprised a deep front spoiler with matching side skirts and rear apron. A spoiler was also added to the boot lid. All this additional equipment, along with the bumpers, was painted body color. Another new option added to the list of cost upgrades in September 1985 was electric sports seats. In November 1985, a BMW sound system and driver airbag were added to the options list. From February 1986, the M5 came with new rear springs that were different to the rest of the E28 range. Production of the right-hand drive M5 began in March 1986. As standard, these cars came with larger 7 to 16-inch cross-spoke wheels that became an option in other markets. M5S equipped with the 7 to 16-inch cross-spoke wheels featured body-colored wheel arch extensions. Right-hand drive cars also came with the M-Technic rear spoiler as standard plus M tricolor tags on all four seats. At the same time as right-hand drive production began, BMW switched the M5 to a gear knob that incorporated both an M logo and a shift layout, prior to this the shift layout had been displayed on a decal attached to the ashtray lid. In April 1986, electric windows and the onboard computer were added to the list of standard equipment. At the same time, a new shadow line option was introduced that saw nearly all the exterior bright work, except for a couple of items like the kidney grills, switched to an anodized black finish. In September 1986, M5 production was switched from Priessenstrasse to BMW Motorsport's new facility at Garching. In October 1986, door sill plates with an M5 logo were added and bowed shocks replaced the original Bilstein units. At the same time, thicker anti-roll bars were installed. 
They went from 21mm to 25mm at the front and from 14mm to 18mm at the rear. The final update arrived in March 1987 when map lights were added to the rear view mirror. BMW started production of a North American spec M5 in November 1986. A limited run of 500 cars was announced, but over 1,200 were actually built, which resulted in owners filing a class action lawsuit against the manufacturer. BMW settled the suit by giving each purchaser a transferable $4,000 credit against any new BMW. The North American M5 came with BMW's catalyzed S88 engine which featured a simplified exhaust manifold, a duplex timing chain, 248 instead of 264 degree camshafts, a lower 9.8 to 1 compression ratio and a BMW M power valve cover script but no BMW roundel. Peak output was 256 brake horsepower at 6500 rpm and 243 pounds-feet of torque at 4500 rpm. These cars also ran a different final drive ratio, 3.91 to 1 instead of 3.73 to 1. Although it came with the thicker 25mm and 18mm front-slash-rear anti-roll bars introduced to the rest of the M5 range in October 1986, plus the unique M5 rear springs added in February 86, the North American M5 incorporated standard E28 suspension and a self-leveling rear axle. The 7-16 cross-spoke wheels and body-colored wheel arch extensions were standard. In order to comply with safety regulations, the normal M5's larger outer headlights were switched to the smaller inboard size, which meant all four front lights were the same size. The lights were also switched to sealed beam units. Other concessions to North American safety regulations included the addition of bulky 5 mph impact-absorbing bumpers and additional side marker lights. Each car came with a special front apron, an M-Technic rear spoiler, and Shadowline exterior trim. Only two color schemes were offered, black with black leather or black with natural leather. Each car was built to a very high standard specification to include air conditioning, electric seats, an electric sunroof, cruise control, the BMW sound system, M tricolor seat tags and extended leather which covered the seats, center console and glove box. The Japanese market M5 was identical to the North American version with the exception of it lacking the 5 mph impact-absorbing bumpers and side marker lights. Only one color scheme was offered in Japan, diamond black with anthracite leather. Production began in January 1987. From June 1987, BMW's Rossland plant in South Africa started assembly of complete knockdown kits that were sent over from Germany. These cars came with the 282 brake horsepower M88-3 non-catalyzed engine, 7-16-inch cross-spoke alloy wheels, without wheel arch extensions, and Technic body kit and shadow line trim. They were offered in five exterior colors, henna red, ice white, cirrus blue metallic, dolphin gray metallic and diamond black metallic. Interiors were upholstered with unique Highline Napa leather of the type used in 6 and 7 series models. This covered the seats, door panels, center console, dash, glove box lid, headliner and sun visors. M tri-color labels were fitted to the seats. South African variants were never offered with the optional headlight wash slash wipe upgrade and M5 branded sill plates were fitted to the front door jams only. BMW stopped M5 production in Germany in November 1987. Assembly of South African derivatives from CKD kits continued until November 1988. Thank you for attention. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page and stay tuned for the next story from Barrage Number 1.